Grudge Match, of course, is a comedy. But right. it's also a movie about regrets. Yes. Stallone's character as once, yes. uh, Sta- De Niro's, yes. and Sally's, yes. of course. How do you work in, or- in order to put this, in a comedy, this dramatic side in some way? How do I what? I, how do you work in order to put in, in, the, in a comedy? In a this comedy. Side, yeah. Well, I think this comedy, I, I, you know, I mean, it has every element of a comedy. I mean, you put these two together, the iconic places they've come from, their characters, you know. And then you add Alan Arkin to the mix, it's my heart, mm-hmm. and Kevin Hart. It brings a whole new element to it. Um, but I, I, I don't think it would be, and I love to make people laugh. I'm so blessed to be in this comedy. But I think every movie, if it's truthful, has to have a heart, has, has, has to have a real heart to it. Um, a grudge match I don't think would be what it is without, I mean, there's uh, Pete informed everybody yesterday, which I was quite shocked, only nine minutes of real actual boxing in this mm-hmm. movie. That's kind of cool. A lot of laughter, but there's a lot of, but grudge match really means more than just De Niro and Sly coming together and knocking each other around, you know. We start off with a lot of grudges. That's what it is. Everybody hates each other from the beginning. <laughs> so I love my character, Sally, because she really had the opportunity. She was the catalyst that comes in and starts, you know, unspooling the thread, so to speak, you know, and, and, and by, by going to Sly's character and um, Razor and, and just telling him something that all of a sudden now his vulnerable side comes out and the heart starts speaking up everywhere. So, so by the end of the movie, we, have, we do have some resolve. I think, I think that's a beautiful match in heaven because you gotta have humor. You gotta have mm-hmm. humor. I, even in, when times are rugged, you've gotta have humor. <laughs> and so I think uh, they, 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 the marriage is beautiful. <laughs> You just asked me to discuss him, but how about working with two legends like Robert De Niro and, and Stallone? Oh, I was just, it was a, um, two totally different relationships I had with them. They work very differently, but I knew we would have some great laughs, um, and we did. And, uh, and I got to call one of these guys a moron, which I loved. It's my favorite part, okay? <laughs> and they'll have to go see the movie to find out which one I called the moron. But I, I, I loved it. I absolutely, you know, it was a playground for me between these two guys. It was a playground for me. In your career, you didn't work only with Stallone and De Niro. You worked with the best actors in the United States. I mean, Robert Redford, Russell Crowe, yes. Jeff Bridges, all, yeah. of, all of them. Is there an actor you haven't worked with and you would like in your future? Um, there are quite a, a few. Uh, quite a few I'd like to work. Um, I was just talking to someone yesterday. I love this beautiful European man, Mads. Michelson, I think this is his name. I might have murdered his name, but he's lovely, and I'm sure everybody knows who he is. Um, I like to work with him, actually. Yeah, he's a great actor. He's You're a right. great actor, yeah. and I've seen almost everything he's ever done. And you have to go see this. His latest movie. Um, oh, what is this? Shout out if anybody. What's what's his latest? The Hunt. The Hunt. Ah, the Hunt. Yeah. He. He won the gold he is Cam, Yeah. On. He's so beautiful in this movie. Mm-hmm. Go see this movie. Oh, I need to be pushing Grudge Match, and we're talking about the <laughs> Sorry about the He owes me for that. He owes me for that. He is beautiful in that movie. Okay.